Next guest says oil could hit $100 a barrel. Jerry Bailey is with us. He is the president of Petrotech Energy and a former president of Exxon Arabian Gulf. Jerry, welcome to the program. Thank you, Stuart. My pleasure. First off, $100 a barrel. Make your case. Why? Well, my case is that the volatility is so crazy in the oil business. You know, it's typically now become the uh, oil casino, you might say. And there's so many geopolitical things going on and happening in the world. Oh, Iran and, and Venezuela? Uh, Iran, Venezuela, and then the Middle East is always bubbling as usual. You know, I was on your show two years ago, and I called the bottom that day at $29. And you asked me, said, uh, how do you know this? I said, well, I've been in this business a long time. <laughs> okay. I walked out of the, your studio that day, Stuart, and price has been going up ever since. So people think I'm, I'm smart. I'm not really smart. Well, I made, I made, made a good guess. Well, you made a prediction of $100 a barrel oil. When? When? When did we hit that? Well, the best case that I could even think about that we could do that, you know, we're just now in the middle of this year. It's possible this year, but I'm, I'm not going to bet all my form on that. I think we're going to probably be seeing around 80 as a more reasonable guess. This but who year. knows? That's this year. This year. That's right. This, this but year. upward from there. It could later go on. because there's so many factors that are happening. You but know, your, that, your argument is predicated on real trouble with Iran in the Middle East, some violence, significant violence in the oil patch, and or an embargo and Venezuelan oil coming here. That's the predication of You're your exactly argument. right. You're, you're, okay. You've got my story. And so, <laughs> hey, let's don't, let's don't frighten people and think it's going to be 100, but don't be surprised. It, it reached that, you know, uh, uh, like two and a half, three years ago. So it's not, uh, it's not out of the picture. With an accent like that, I always trust your judgment about the price of oil. Well, Where's it very, from? Uh, it's from Houston. I'm a Texas guy. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm not from Houston, by the way. Uh, <laughs> your company is Petrotech Energy. You are building, I believe. We have built. It's, it's finished. It's done. Right. It's a new plant. It's in Utah. That's right. And you're going to make dirty oil, tar sands oil, clean. Are you up and running? Uh, we will be in a couple of weeks. We've already operated at a lower rate. We're now expanding four times the size. So that's why I say we'll still have a bigger plant in operation here in a few weeks. Uh, because we have large leases of the, uh, we call them oil sands there. And it's not this stuff like in Canada that gives you a lot of uh, water and uh, sludge and uh, terrible tailing ponds. Ours is a waterless, environmentally friendly process. And I was skeptical at first when I joined the group there. But it works. So we will take the sand, treat it with our secret sauce, clean it up, put it back on the ground. And as I say, you could grow tomatoes in so it. Is, is it a refinery that you're talking about? No, it's just a small footprint of a plant, like uh, a small, uh, maybe 3,000 square foot. And it's just a physical separation using a, a solvent to literally take the uh, oil out of the sand like you would uh, oh, just to grease off up, of a so plate. Right. So um, are you expecting, or we, should America expect, not exactly a gusher of oil coming out of Utah, but significant expansion. Significant. And I was at a conference with the, the governor of the state just this past week. They are very environmentally and energy friendly, and they want to see things like that develop. They have 55 percent of all the uh, oil sands in the United States. That's just another source to add because that's heavier oil. The stuff out of the Permian right. Basin, out of the Bakken, is lighter oil. So you need to mix some of that in. So it's going it's, to it's another source of oil and energy for the country. Supposing oil goes down to $40 a barrel, can you afford to run your plant in Utah? Yes, we can do ours for under $25 a barrel, or under $30, more like $25 a barrel. So it is, you can still make money that way. And you now, make a lot of money if it goes to 100 Oh, yes, but conventional oil, is, you know, it, it can be like uh, $15, $20 a barrel to produce uh, in, in West Texas, uh, uh, primarily. So it's still, there's room to work. So even at today, you know, like you say, we're just under $72 today. Yep. It, it'll make money, and um, it, it's good for the country. Okay. Petrotech Energy, Utah. Jerry, thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you very much. Much obliged to you. Thank, Thank you very much.